day eight of the 2017 Old Mutual Joburg to See is brought to you by Aruba BCX and Avis Van Rental. We've made it to Jolly Vet Farm, our last campsite for the Old Mutual Joburg to See this year and the last day of racing today. The clocks won't be started as we roll to the beachfront at Scott tomorrow. Day eight is always a tough one, no question about it. The drop into the valley, it was something incredible. I've never seen those trails in such great condition and I think everyone had smiles on their faces when they got to the bottom of the Umkamas Valley. Today's stage from McKenzie Club to Jolly Vet, well it contained all the iconic sections of that drop. Yankees Doodle, Murray's Meander, Wire Single Track, School Single Track, Sosiba Section, the bridge across the Umco, the iconic Maritzburg College water point at the bottom there, and then the climb out. It is always brutal. Not much iconic about that. The final water points at the High Flats, and then the run to the finish, which is short of the camp at Jollivet, but a welcome that we certainly enjoyed here at Jollivet. Our last night, but before we celebrate finishing this event, we've got to get to the beach though. Let's reflect on an incredible day's mountain biking on day eight. Despite a lead of over 10 minutes, Pige Eurostil were well aware of the dangers that lay in wait on one of the most technically demanding days of the old mutual Joburg to see as they rolled away from McKenzie Club. Of course, the early battles were all about who could hit the wow single track at the top of the Umco drop first, and the Pige Eurostil guys seemed to have got the jump on their rivals. The sections of purpose-built trail are maintained by the Umkamas Valley residents and portions like Yankees Doodle, Murray's Meander, School Single Track, Nick's Pass and Sosiba section have been strung together to create a truly breathtaking riding experience. About 18 kilometers, in fact, of smile riding. The Umkamas flowing strongly a river that they cross close to its source on stage six. The front runners with Bass and Bierkus pursued by Nad Pro were loving the near perfect conditions. Storm Macabre's Darren and Candace Lill were on the front of the mixed group, which also had the solo hot shots, principal among them leader Nick White in the colours of road cover. Once through the first water point, the hard work starts as the trail winds down a deserted valley, with hand-built bridges spanning 15 river crossings. It is a relentless section, each bridge followed by a short, sharp climb. Mr and Mrs Lill of Storm Macabre had Nick White on their tail as they hammered the valley road. Brenda Davids and Willie Smith in third place. Just notice the difference in cadence. Harvey Combrink had fallen heavily on stage seven and was nursing numerous cuts, grazes and bruises as he and Nico Bell ground out the caves at the base of the valley. The first riders to reach the base of the new climb out of the valley, iconic, were Bass and Bukas with Travis Walker riding solo after the withdrawal of partner Nico Stack. It's a brutal ascent of around four kilometers on rough, loose terrain. The second water point at 64 kilometers was ably manned by Linford School. After around 800 meters of climbing over 26 kilometers since the last water point, refueling was essential. Mad Pro around five minutes back in second place. The next 20 k's were fast and furious through the forests of high flats, and Bass and Bierkus were able to keep upright and together and cross the line after three hours and 32 minutes to close out overall victory for Piger Eurosteel. Defending champions Combrink and Bell were over seven minutes back in second place for Nad Pro. A solid ride by roadies Brendan Davids and Billy Smith, third, 12 minutes down. Darren and Candice Lill of Dormacaba completed the full set of stage wins in the mixed race, just dipping under four hours for the day. McDougall and Usher were just 90 seconds behind them in second for Lanham Love Valencia. Five minutes ahead of the bicycle company, Maitas pair of Johan Lobeskachli and Catherine Williamson. It was hugs and kisses all round, as the final stage will be a neutral one. In his first old mutual Joburg to see, Philip Bass took overall victory with his Pige Eurosteel partner and friend Matthijs Bierkes. Nad Pro won stage two, but their 15 minute time loss on stage five cost them. Mother and daughter Lolita and Simone van Aert were dominant all week in the women's race. Avis van Rentels and Olafir and Nadine Fasachi were over an hour back in second. The mixed was a tour de force by Dorma Carver. Asher and McDougall pushed hard all week and finished just 24 minutes back. In the vets, equally close with the coffee riders taking the win by 23 minutes from One Wings 3. Shane Burke and Tim Holden from Kenya in third. Adam Reese and Simon Osborne won the Masters by 42 minutes. Buko Wines got stronger all week. They took third. Dwayne Fock and Carl Liebenberg were the alpha buffaloes in their herd ahead of Vickel and Sickle. In the solo categories, Nick White won by 28 minutes from Douglas Drysdale. Siska van der Boer was almost 40 minutes ahead of Jeannie de Villiers in the solo women's with Bike Hub's Kylie Harnacom, an impressive third. 
And after losing some 45 kilograms in four years, Charles Mansfield was the solo Buffalo winner by just 19 minutes from Green Grunewald and Gavin Kearns. Stage 8 is a truly wonderful day of mountain biking with a rich array of terrain and trail. It kept all of us busy, mostly with smiles on our faces. It's a tale of two halves though, pleasure and pain. In equal measure? Well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. I used to wake and run with the moon I lived like a rake and a young man I covered my lovers with flowers and wounds My laughter the devil would frighten The sun would come up and beat me back down But every cruel day had its nightfall Welcome stars with wine and guitars with fire and forgetful My body was sharp, dark air clean And outraged my joyful companion
Downhill was good. Had a nice flow with a good group who were going down. Oh, you did? Not too much braking. Oh, we had a few, bit of braking, but never mind. I'm safe. I got down in one piece. It's a glorious track, beautiful views, worth cycling how many days? Six, seven days for. Natural, yeah. single track. You don't get that in the UK like that. I keep thinking about this climb we've got to do now. <laughs> yeah, what hill? <laughs> a big hill. It's just going to be hard work. One massive hill. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Playtime's over. Now we start the hard work. Get lost all the time. I try to live it right, but I get lost all the time without you. I get lost all the time. Take me back tonight, leave me on the road that leads to life. We've been on our bikes for eight days now. Difficult to comprehend, really. But can you remember where we've been? Here's a reminder of some of the fun we've had. It all started at Karen Beef in Heidelberg. So one day to go, no clocks tomorrow, but we do have to finish on the beach in Skopra to complete the magical journey. Time to load up on more great Karen beef steaks and to chat about a life-changing week together. Tomorrow we go green and hunt for the beach. Enjoy. Lead me on the road that leads to life.